Hello, 30-1s. This lesson is all about long dividing polynomials. What we want to do in this section is we want to continue our work towards graphing a polynomial, but without our calculator. So what we'll need to learn how to do is we'll need to learn how to factor cubic functions. And how we will factor a cubic function, say something like this, we'll call it p at x is equal to x cubed plus x squared minus 9x minus 9. We want to factor something like this, and it's not that easy. It's not as easy as it is in quadratics. So to do this, we're going to have to long divide. So what we're going to do is we will divide p at x by, let's try the binomial x plus 1. So how does long division work? Well, long division works the exact same way it worked when we were back in elementary school. So I draw my division bar there and I write down my polynomial and what I'm trying to divide by the divisor. And so here's what we do. We say to ourselves, what do I multiply this x by to get x cubed? What do I multiply x by to get x cubed? x squared. So then we multiply x squared times x is x cubed. And x squared times 1 is plus x squared. Now, when we were doing long division when we were little guys, we would then subtract. So I subtract x squared minus x squared. That's 0. x cubed minus x cubed. That's 0. Perfect. Now that I have 0 for both of those, then if you remember what we did when we were way back in elementary school, is we would bring down our next term. So let's go ahead, let's bring down our next term. So I'm going to bring down the negative 9x and the minus 9. So then I repeat my process over and over again. Remember, division is just an algorithm. So I say to myself, what do I multiply x by to get negative 9x? Perfect. I'm going to multiply it by negative 9. And now we do the multiplication. So we say negative 9 times x is negative 9x. Negative 9 times 1 is negative 9. And we subtract. And guess what we le are left with? 0. That's our remainder. Well, in this case, if our remainder is 0, here's what we just figured out. Our remainder is 0, so therefore x plus 1 is a factor of our polynomial p at x. And if it's a factor of p at x, then guess what? Therefore, x equals negative 1 is a 0 of p at x. And another way to say that, therefore, we have an x-intercept of p at x. So by dividing, we can find one of these key points of our polynomial p at x. What would happen if we divided and we didn't end up with a remainder of 0? I'll show you. So let's do this one more time. So same polynomial, but this time I'm going to divide by, I don't know, let's just say x plus 2. So the exact same polynomial. So x cubed 
plus x squared minus 9x minus 9. All right, repeat the steps. What do I multiply x by to get x cubed? x squared. And then we do that multiplication. That will give me x cubed plus 2x squared. We subtract. x cubed minus x cubed is 0. That's what I need to see. x squared minus 2x squared is negative 1x squared. Bring down the next term. And repeat. So I say to myself this time, what am I going to multiply x by to get negative 1x squared? Well, I'm going to multiply by minus 1x. And we then multiply. So minus 1x multiplied to both of these. Minus 1x squared minus 2x and subtract. Minus 1x squared minus 1x squared is 0, of course. Minus 9x subtract negative 2 will end up being negative 7x. Bring down the next term. And repeat. Again, divisions just an algorithm. So now I say to myself, what do I multiply x by to get negative 7x? Negative 7. So I do the multiplication. Negative 7 times x is negative 7. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. I subtract. Minus 7x subtract negative 7x is 0. Negative 9 subtract negative 14 is positive 5. Okay, that's our remainder right here. What does that tell us? Well, this time it's not an x-intercept. So what is it telling us? If it's not an x-intercept, I'm not just going to pretend it's not important. This is a point on P at x. What is the point? The point would be, well, we divided by x plus 2. This is the point negative 2, 5. Right here, we divided by x plus 2. So if we isolate for x, that's the x value on that graph. And the remainder right here is my y value from the remainder. So when we are dividing, friends, what you are attempting to do is to find important points on your graph. We would be really happy if it was always an x-intercept, but it's not always going to be the case. So if it's not an x-intercept, if it's not a factor, then we still have a remainder and that ends up being another point on our graph. Okay, there is long division. Do a little practice, you'll see long division is really, really easy. Good luck.